I am Goose. I'm Logan. And we are at La Michoacana Plus. Yeah. So we just spent the last, uh, what, five minutes trying to figure out how to pronounce it? Trying to figure out how to pronounce it. And, you know, before we uh, move on, uh, apologies, we are not very good at Spanish. Spanish. No, we're not. So um, if our pronunciation La was butchered, mi that is Michio why. Michoacana. Yeah. Michoacana. You can't say it right, so uh, I mean, granted, I probably wasn't saying it right either, but, you know, I decided to... But take it for the team. This place has got some, <laughs> this place has got some pretty good ice cream, mm -hmm. some uh, palettas. Yeah, I know. I know you guys have been here before. Uh, and I have uh, not. it's very colorful inside. So mm -hmm. let's go on inside and get some ice cream. Let's go. Are you ready to order? Would you guys like to look at the menu? Take a look at the menu first. Whenever you guys are ready, okay? Okay. I'm gonna look at your palettas. Yes. Oh. What? Tequila Patron con almendras. What did you just say? Ferrero oh, Rocher. Ice cream right next to the tequila Patron con almendras. <laughs> Fresh leches. Oh, Fresh leches. Fresh leches. Oh, Fresh leches. Fresh leches. Cookie Monster. Damn, if only I could order the whole menu. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what do they have over here? Oh, they have a whole lot of flavors. If you just look, you can see watermelon, cucumber, pineapple, cucumber, if cucumber, sour sauce, sour guava, chamoy, chamoy, mango, strawberry, cheesecake. Cheesecake cake is always good. Oh, so I wanted to show you a little good look around. Look at this. Look at these these seats. The, the, the decor. Like I said, I feel like I walked into a chicken, a kid's birthday a, party. A Gancito ice cream. Gancito, wait, what? Gancito, you know the little snack cakes? Really? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Little corner. Yeah. Nice. But this place is just really colorful and just, I mean, you can't, you honest to gosh, you honest to gosh cannot be sad in a place like this no you can't it's too colorful all right so i got tequila i also got tequila ice cream and ferrero rocher and look over here uh, cookie yeah on the top is cookie monster and then on the bottom is tres leches so i was having a hard time choosing between the cookie monster and gancito but i figured i've actually had cookie monster ice cream before i don't know if it's the exact same but if you've been watching our channel for a long time you may have seen the video we did over at the santa monica pier and they had an ice cream stand there too and i actually got uh, a cookie monster there and i remember it being so good so i decided to get it here Miss Cindy got over here. She got what'd you get? I got walnut and cappuccino. Walnut and cappuccino. Sounds like a Starbucks they, drink. <laughs> and they make all their ice cream here. Yeah, they do. They make all their ice cream here. So this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. So just to let you know, yeah, the, the Ferrero Rocher up top tastes like a Ferrero Rocher chocolate. But the tequila patron honestly got in the bottom there it's so good i never would have thought you you had a taste of it i never would have thought having tequila as an ice cream never you know you never know what you're gonna like until you try it until you try see it. tequila ice cream and you're like oh it's two things i like mixed together <laughs> <laughs> i think i'll try some and then and then it is good who knows? Maybe we'll get to go to the store one day and we'll see Jack Daniel's ice cream. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too good. So how's yours? Pretty good. It's really good. Yeah, so far I've only had the cookie monster because that's the one on top. Um, it's delicious. Now it's got the little bits of cookies in there. I think it's got a mix of like I think Oreos and then chocolate chip cookies. And it is good. It's good. Mm -hmm. And Miss Cindy over here, uh, she, you have your walnut, I guess, on top. The walnut's on the bottom and the cappuccino's okay. on the top. And? Very good. Very good? It's very creamy and it's, it's, I think small batch ice cream has better flavor. Yeah. Than the mass-produced big factory ones. Yeah. 
And they have more unique flavors than our other ice cream parlors in town, Dewar's or Rosemary's. Yeah, considering I just got tequila in my ice cream. Well, you can see as always that I have finished off my Ferrero Shea ice cream and I'm now just to the, to the bottom to the tequila ice cream. And I'm about, I don't know, halfway through this and these two are still working on... I'm trying, I'm trying to savor it. So I'm not I know. I'll throw it. I I try it so hard to slow down. We're supposed to savor ice, ice cream. cream. I and try. It's funny. Both the walnut and the cappuccino are pretty much the same shade of beige, but they're very good. <laughs> they got different flavors. Yeah, and it's funny. No, no they are. They're the exact same color. Yeah, <laughs> they are. That's funny. Can you tell them apart? Mm hmm. How is it? What are you Walnut ice cream. It's like. Yeah. Here, take the taste. Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a strong walnut taste. By the way, this is really good. And I just, and I don't know why, I just noticed these got like little chocolate shavings in here to go with this but it's really good uh, again I can really taste the tequila out of this I'm hoping I can drive off <laughs> sure you'll be fine <laughs> hey you're drunk on ice cream <laughs> that's the best kind of drunk beef. yeah drunk on ice cream drunk on ice cream <laughs> is this better than brain freeze yeah Oh, I know. If you take it, turn it into a shake, it would definitely be drunk on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's finally finishing up his ice cream. Yep. Took out a tiny bit left. Now I'm going to just eat that trice of that, Jess. How is it? Super sweet. <laughs> you know, I kind of expected I've had yeah. trice of before. I think I'll call uh, having a trice of that cake at Porto's a while back. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that was for the video we ever did there. Um, I think we did do it. We, well, we did do a video there, but I don't think, I think that's we did what the dessert I cake. No. But, oh, it is good. The, 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 I don't know why I'm having a brain fart here. The, the cookie monster, that's what I was going to say. I think I was going for like sugar cookie or something like that. Uh, the, the cookie monster, <laughs> super good. Uh, again, I had the chunks of the Oreos and chocolate chip cookies in there. And even the base ice cream, the blue ice cream was really yeah. good. Uh, and the tres leches was also delicious. I was delicious. I was fortunate when I ate mine so fast and then Miss Cindy goes, I can't finish mine. Hey, you want to finish mine? You want to finish mine? Finish... <laughs> so I got to finish her. I had the cappuccino. What was it? The cappuccino? Or... Yeah. She had the walnut and the cappuccino. Yeah. But it was really good. Oh, yeah. It was really good. Oh, that was good. That was. We uh, we had to change cameras because yeah, uh, because our GoPro, the one we do probably ninety nine percent of our videos on, uh, every time it gets to about twenty percent battery, it just decides to shut off, not work. Yeah. So, um, but but uh, we were able to get a lot of a lot of really good footage. Mm -hmm. You can really tell this place that they make their make own their own ice, ice cream. cream uh, it's just so creamy. rich and creamy, and you can definitely tell it's not uh, not from mass produced. Mass produced. Uh, because it's just so there's a whole level, new level of flavor mm -hmm. here to the ice cream, you know, when it's when it's homemade rather than when you get it from a store. And again, they had so many different options to choose from. Again, I think we got most of them on camera. They probably got some 20, 25 different, different flavors of ice cream on top of having all the different paletas. Paletas, yeah. And if you don't know what a paleta is, it's like a popsicle. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all the different flavors of paletas just. I mean, this place is great. Like I said, it's so colorful inside mm -hmm. that you know, the pink and the green. And the pink and the green, you can't like be sad. You have to be happy because there's there's no way you can be <laughs> sad in that place. But like I said, like I said over and over, I feel like I just walked into a child's birthday party. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really nice. This food's really good. The ladies in here are fantastic. Um, cannot wait to bring more people out here to, yep. to enjoy this. As, as you can go ahead and say it, because I can't say it. La Michoacana Plus. It's again, it's here in this little shopping center on Niles. So we'll put the, the exact address oh, in the Over here, over here in East Bakersfield, but it's really nice. So, Logan, if they want to check us out anywhere else, where would they go? 
Yeah, if you want to find all the links to our social media, you can find them at withkoji.com slash at travel by nature. They find links to our podcast, our Twitter pages, our TikTok, our Instagram, and we also have an Ask Me Anything tab and a tip jar, if you're so generous. And if they want to help out the channel, you can hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share to your yeah, friends. Share it to your friends if a comment makes a smile. What else can they do? If you really like our videos, you can join our channel. Where you do that is on the home page of our channel, right next to the subscribe button. We have three tiers, one $4.99, one $7.99, and one $9.99. So if you love our content, you can help us out there. And anything you donate to the channel goes right back to the channel. Yep. But from here at La Michoacana Plus, here in East Bakersfield on Niles Street. I am Goose. I am Logan. And this is Travel by Nature. Thank you for watching.